Why are they worshipping the Satan? Why did Allah punish them? Is this some kind of sign from Allah? We will be going into the details of these questions, but before that, you should check a little something out. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of actions when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside then it is a return back call from your creator if you are looking for a proper direction to refresh your iman then our best selling book 100 heart touching stories to revive your iman and faith must be your most preferable selection to read right now the link is in the description box below few days ago we made a video about a huge carnival that took place in brazil The main event portrayed a whole line of devils and jinns that were made in the form of red burning statues. It was actually a picture of hell. The theme applied that all the Christians and Muslims will go into the Jahannam, the hell, and there they will live with all the satans. Even Jesus will be there and there is no other concept of paradise or jannah. And the most disturbing fact that is all these people are Christians. What made them insult their own belief? Why did they go against the one they worshipped? And what was the punishment they faced for such severe disobedience and shirk? These people were challenging God, so Allah's wrath has befallen these people. The ignorant people were still busy with their with their satanic carnival when Brazil got hit by the deadliest flood in the history of Brazil. Can you believe it? There are no delays when Allah's staff is in action it was a night like no other suddenly clouds started gathering over the whole of brazil in no time there were sounds of thunder everywhere children were scared adults were looking towards the sky then it started raining thundering and suddenly all brazil was covered in water people started to realize that allah is punishing them then they came to know the power of allah The people of Brazil got hit by a flood but that's not it. There is a huge statue of Jesus in the middle of Brazil. What happened to the statue? The statue was standing still in the heart of Brazil. People were looking at it with their prayers in their hearts. Suddenly, it got hit by a bolt of lightning. The thing to particularly note here is that when the statue was hit by the lightning, there were no clouds. The lightning came out of nowhere. Where did this lightning come from, brothers and sisters? Allah created this universe in only 6 days. Throwing lightning bolts is no work for him. Allah is almighty and the strongest. As a Muslim, as a believer, we affirm that there is no god but Allah, and Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. The situation had been so worse there that even today Deaths keep on reporting due to landslides, heavy rains and floods. They had to immediately wind up the carnival. They could not even get through their petty event. Where was the Satan then? Did he not come to their rescue? All of the communities have got ruined. People had to evacuate the space. Until then, no country has come to their rescue. Because the people of any government won't allow it. Also, Brazil already had no good relations with any strong country that could help them. The carnival has received extreme attention from around the world. And so does the punishment that came even before the carnival could end. Everybody is talking about how the mockers of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam tasted their anjam immediately right there. Subhanallah. Allah does not let go of the ones who commit shirk. despite him being the most merciful and benevolent as allah says in the quran when the mountains and water complained to allah about the humans and asked him to destroy them because of their sins and transgressions allah replied i am waiting for my servants forgiveness history is filled with the examples of those who transgressed and were then faced by the worst consequences the people of ad were an ancient arab tribe that lived in what is now known as the modern day yemen according to the quran they were destroyed by a powerful wind sent by allah as punishment for their disobedience and rejection of the prophet hud's message the people of thamud were known for their skills in construction and carving 
but also for their disobedience and rejection of Prophet Saleh alayhi salam's message. According to the Quran, they were destroyed by a powerful earthquake and loud blast sent by Allah as punishment. The people of Luth, also known as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, were a group of wicked and immoral individuals who lived in what is now known as modern-day Palestine. According to the Quran, they were destroyed by a rain of stones sent by Allah as punishment for their sins and disobedience to the Prophet Lut's message. He says in Surah Al-Hud, So when our command came, we made the highest part of the city its lowest and rained upon them stones of layered hard clay, which were marked from your Lord. And Allah's punishment is not from the wrongdoers very far. Allah must have put a block on their hearts and minds so that they got trapped in the satanic attractions. May Allah protect us all from such sins and shirk. Ameen. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of actions when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. If you are looking for a proper direction to refresh in your Iman, then our best-selling book, 100 Heart-Touching Stories to Revive Your Iman and Faith, must be your most preferable selection to read right now. The link is in the description box below. Few days ago, we made a video about a huge carnival that took place in Brazil. The main event portrayed a whole line of devils and jinns that were made in the form of red burning statues. It was actually a picture of hell. The theme applied that all the Christians and Muslims will go into the Jahannam, the hell, and there they will live with all the Satans. Even Jesus will be there and there is no other concept of paradise or Jannah. And the most disturbing fact, that is, all these people are Christians. What made them insult their own belief? Why did they go against the one they worshipped? And what was the punishment they faced for such severe disobedience and shirk? These people were challenging God, so Allah's wrath has befallen these people. The ignorant people were still busy with their, with their satanic carnival when Brazil got hit by the deadliest flood in the history of Brazil. Can you believe it? There are no delays when Allah's staff is in action. It was a night like no other. Suddenly clouds started gathering over the whole of Brazil. In no time, there were sounds of thunder everywhere. Children were scared. Adults were looking towards the sky. 